Hello, this is Yanko Fuang.、Uh, this is the very first time I play something on YouTube in English, so bear with me. I hope it is not too bad.、Uh, today, I was having a conversation with some fellow photographers talking about shooting in RAW, shooting JPEG.、Uh, I don't want to start a discussion of whether we should shoot RAW or JPEG. I don't think that we need to discuss about that. Just that there was something pretty interesting、uh, which came that up in it came up in in the discussion, and I want to share with you.、Uh, do you actually realize when you open up a RAW file in Photoshop,、uh, by default it is actually opening up in eight、uh, bit file format? I'm not sure if you if you know this that.、Uh, You know what? When we are shooting with most of our 135 DSLR, the raw file is actually a 14-bit file. If you open it up in an 8-bit file, you are actually cutting data, so that when you are editing it, you you don't have those data anymore because you are cutting it to a 8-bit file. Okay, I know that some of you don't know what is the difference of 8-bit and and、uh, 16-bit or 14-bit. Let me tell you. The simplest way to illustrate that is to、uh, the simplest way is to say that eight bit file it when when it goes up any one bit you are actually doubling the data.、Uh, when we say eight bit, that means you have two hundred and fifty six levels of difference in any color RGB. Okay, so that white is two fifty five, two fifty five, two fifty five. But if you are raising it up to nine bit, you actually have Five hundred and twelve levels different in in any of these color. So when it go all the way up to fourteen bits, you are actually have having a lot more data in between. Okay, which is very important when you are trying to manipulate your photo, particularly with color and with、uh, shadow and 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 luminosity. Okay, so here we go. So what should we do in order to get a 14-bit or even 16-bit file in Photoshop. When you put a raw file into Photoshop,、uh, Camera Raw would actually opens up, which is、uh, like a plug into Photoshop. Like、uh, I'm not sure if most of you know that. When it opens up, actually down here there is uh, uh, some wording saying that this file is going to be opened as as RGB, 8 bits. Three three thousand eight hundred forty times.、Uh, By five thousand seven hundred sixty, which is twenty-two megapixel at three hundred PPI. Okay, actually, if you click on it, have you ever tried? Actually, it is clickable. You can open it up. There is a workflow options, and within it, you can actually change the color space. For professional photographers, we most of us would open it up in either Adobe RGB or Profoto RGB.、Uh, for me, I use Profoto RGB more, which is a、uh, Bigger color space, and then I'll change the color depth to 16 bits per channel. Okay, there you click OK, and then you see down here that it is now opening up as Pro Photo RGB 16 bits. Okay, so we can open the image up now, so that when you go into Adobe Photoshop, you will actually get a 16-bit file. When you go up to、uh, image, you see in mode that this is a RGB colored file, and then it's 16 bits per channel.、Um, so if you are shooting RAW and you open it up as 8-bit、uh, RGB file in Photoshop, why don't you just shoot JPEG? This is Yanko Fong. Thank you very much. See you next time.